Hey everybody, Jeremy here, and today I have for you the 6-inch Metroid from the Jack Pacific World of Nintendo line. This is one of the two newest released 6-inch figures from the World of Nintendo line that has been darn near impossible to find in stores. The Metroid and the Ganondorf are very hard to find, so I picked this guy up at BigBadToyStore.com along with the Ganondorf for $39.99 for both of them. So at the time of this video, if you go to Big Bad Toy Store and you look for that bundle, the price might have gone up because the demand is so high, or maybe it went down because, I don't know, maybe they just felt like being nice to people. I don't know, but I've got my hand on this six inch Metroid and I think this is the most highly sought after figure in the entire line because this Metroid looks very unique. It looks like it's a bit spongy. It's absolutely huge. And I don't think there's been a Metroid in this scale. It definitely not at, not at this price that's been released before. But if you do manage to find this guy in stores like at Toys R Us, you're going to pay $14.99 for him. But chances are you're not going to find him there. So you're going to have to look online and people are going to give you varying prices. Maybe you'll get lucky. Maybe you can get it for around 20, 25, 30. Some people want to jack the price up to like 60 or 70. I don't know. It's just, uh, it's just a matter of rolling the dice and see what you get. But I'm happy that I got him when I did. And the other figures that are available in this particular line, not exactly six inch, but the other figures include Luigi, the Blue Toad, Samus, Diddy Kong, and Ganondorf. Now, I already have the Luigi, I already have the Toad, I already have the Diddy Kong, but I have never seen Samus in the store. And I got the Ganondorf as a bundle from this from BigBadToyStore.com. And I've been really itching to really just put my hands on this membrane and see what it feels like and to show you guys. So without further ado, I'm gonna open this guy up and finally after so long of being patient and eventually giving up and resorting to the internet, finally get to see what this Metroid looks like out of the box. At long last, the Metroid is finally here and I can finally do this. All right, so what does this membrane feel like? Well, it feels like plastic. It just feels like regular old plastic. I thought that maybe it would be kind of like a gel, almost like a little gelatin type of feel, but no, it's not like gelatin. It is, it is really just plastic. But it is a transparent, sort of a bluish green type of a plastic. And then we can see the creature that lurks within, which is very well molded. A lot of little bumps with nice little circular um, splotches of paint along the tips of some of the different little parts of the bumps in here. And that is done very, very well. The only thing that I don't really like, and I don't know what happened, but there's like a little dent, like right here. And I don't know if that's just my figure or if they're all like this, it's probably just mine, but I don't like how this is dented right here. I wish that I could just kind of push it back out, you know, so it can like sort of re, reform itself and so that everything can look kind of you know round and expanded all the way around without any indentations but i just can't get it to do that but besides that let's take a whole look around this guy it is a definitely a very unique looking figure one of the most unique that you're ever possibly going to find in this scale at this price range and on the bottom we can see this is how we're going to get the Metroid to stand with these little talons here. Now they are articulated, so you can move them in and out. Every single one of them can be moved in and out, just like this. So you can do that. Uh, they do not rotate, but this is what you do to help to get it to stand up. So if you want to have it like this, and you can see now it's just going to topple over. So to fix that, all we have to do is just bring these out a little bit more and try it again. And now it stands perfectly. So that is quite nice. It really just depends on the angle that you want this guy to stand. You can take these and move them all the way out like that. And you can just sort of have it like this, kind of like leaning a little bit. Or you can have it like this so that the front end is more, is more so up. Or we can just take the whole thing and just kind of try to bring everything in a bit. And then maybe we can get a look that's kind of like that. You know, it's just whatever you want to do in order to get this guy to stand. It's just completely up to you. But 
you know, it is a very cool looking figure, you know, I must say. And just due to the uniqueness of it all, I think that it is definitely, definitely worth getting. Um, if you're a fan of the Metroid series, then of course you're going to want to get the Metroid itself. Or if you even have the Samus somewhere in your collection, then of course you want to put the Metroid next to the Samus. You know, that's, that's just really awesome. I'm just amazed that of all of the different figures that Jack Specific could have chose to use to make, they chose the Metroid. And I think that that is such good fan service for people who are fans of the Metroid franchise. And that's really awesome. So, although I wish that this was a gel and not just and not just plastic, you know, I still like this figure. It's good for the price, especially if you can find it for 15 bucks. I think that is quite good for the price. But besides that, it smells like plastic. It is plastic, it's unique, and I like it. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'm Jeremy, and I'll talk to you later.